a warning from the Prime Minister tonight that government will consider making COVID-19 vaccinations mandatory for students. If he's not pleased with how many children are inoculated come mid-September, Dr. Rowley made the announcement at the commissioning of the new San Juan Government Primary School. The Education Minister also announced how classes will resume come September 6. Akash Samaru has the story. We still don't know when face-to-face -face classes will resume. You remember those, right? But here's what we do know. When students restart school virtually come September 6. Now, this is contingent on her ministry's analysis in the coming days of the vaccination program, which will be one of the factors to decide who they can bring out physically. But is there a target the government is looking at in terms of the student vaccinated population? We would want to achieve that level of universal immunity, which is usually around 65 to 70 percent. And what happens if they don't reach that target come mid-September? Well, parents and guardians, the government may then look into taking that decision out of your hands. The government will have no difficulty in intervening on the children's behalf, as we've done with measles, with mumps, with other aspects of health care, where the children can make the decision for themselves. The Prime Minister said they will not make the decision lightly, but if they have to, they'll do it. And with Pfizer getting approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration today, Dr. Rao is hoping that clears some doubt. However, he is wondering if another excuse will now emerge. Or is it that one will turn to another concern, and that is that the vaccine will develop too fast because the scientists were too good? Meanwhile, for now, the ministry will not be asking teachers to declare their vaccination status. So now that the question about what happens come September 6th has been answered, how are the adults feeling? Now, the decision to keep classes online for now has received high praise from some parents of students. On social media, they're saying that it's a brilliant and strategic plan. Best thing they've heard since last year, with some even saying, thank God because they weren't sending their children to physical school anyways. Of course, this is all subject to change. Akash Sama, CNC3 News.